Hello lovely people, welcome back to the farm at Free Warden. We are going to be building going to be building Justin Rhodes mineral shaw. We're also getting ready to build the uh, meat shaw for the meat birds. That's just a basically roof on wheels that we will use to give our meat birds some cover when, they're move, when, they're, when we move them out on grass. So we raise all of our chickens on grass and supplement them with feed of course, but uh, we went out to the pasture where we've got all of this very handy rough cut lumber and we're gonna bring this inside so we only need what 15 or so two by sixes and a two by eight and a handful of two by fours that's really not much and that's gonna build a fairly large uh, meat shop probably about 10 by 10 even though these are eight footers but we're gonna go out a foot on either side with the roofing and that's gonna build a mineral shaw with enough compartments in that for us to store 20 minerals in, I believe. count them to see how many we got here. This is Roxanne's first litter. I'm gonna check to see it's been fed. They will have big bellies and that is the indication you have of if they have been fed, is if they've got big bellies. Two. All right, we got seven, seven babies for Roxanne's first litter. That is excellent. And they all look very well fed. They're all moving around, so that is awesome. We'll put them back in here and get them back inside. How exciting. We've got baby kits, seven for her first litter. That is awesome. Chick, 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 chick. Here they come. Now they're coming back. That was so funny. They just like all took off. A lot of folks go and they buy the Timothy grass, the Timothy hay, or orchard grass hay, or some variety of hay for their rabbits. If you've got any amount of uh, tall grass that you could possibly let just grow out a little bit longer and then mow down with something like a, a trimmer like that, a walk behind trimmer or weed eater, 
or uh, shoot, I mean, you could even use a mower if you can keep it from mulching your grass. But those bags for 20 pounds of hay, maybe that much, that's gonna run you 20 bucks. They're, just, they're charging you a buck a pound. Whereas if you were to go out and buy a whole hay bale of uh, really good grass hay, you're probably gonna pay three to five dollars for a 55 to 60 pound bale. Uh, it depends on how tightly they pack it. But what we just did here was we got probably, oh, maybe, maybe a whole 50, 60 pounds here. And we got it for way less than what it would cost me if I were to buy three of those bags. Three of those bags would be 60 bucks. So I just made uh, $60 here out of my pasture. And there's a lot more than just Timothy grass in here. There is uh, a lot more than just orchard. There's other good stuff that they need. Now there are a couple of weeds here that we'll have to pick out like this milkweed here. There's a lot of thistle. That's really good for them. Uh, thistle is basically an herb. There is a lot of wild lettuce or prickly lettuce. It's also good for them. Definitely good for the mothers probably when they're given birth because uh, it's a pain reliever. So there's just a lot of really excellent forage in here for them that you wouldn't get buying it from the store because they're, pl they're planting a big monocrop, basically timothy grass, orchard grass, and hanging that, and that's all the rabbits are getting. Which that's fine, but this is better. So there we go. Maybe an hour's worth of work. I don't know if it's even that much. It is quarter after midnight now, but we are done. We have finished the platform anyway. I've still got to get the wheels on it, still got to get the, uh, all of the other things in there, but the construction is done on the platform. So here's what it looks like. It is beautiful, made, from, made entirely from rough cut lumber. I love this thing. I love the way it's turned out so far. Um, I took my draw knife to a couple spots that were just uneven. So one of, the, one of the unfortunate things with working with fresh cut lumber, even though it's kiln dried, it's not been finished and it is, it is a little warped here and there. But for something like this, that's just gonna get pulled around in the pasture, following the sheep around. This is the mineral feeder for the sheep. This is not gonna be that big of a deal. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, and I kind of like the rustic look. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't that wood just gorgeous? It's, uh, it's all ash, and then we've got cottonwood for the two by fours that go in between here. So that's all cottonwood there, and I love this. Look at that hair, oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, I love this so much. Oh, and look at this, this nice little bit of bark that's showing there. Nobody's gonna see it, but I know. I know that it's there and I like it. I like it so much. So we've got two, two by sixes. We've got one, two by eight, and I did cut them down so that they were dimensional lumber. And then we've got um, 20 so far, two by fours. And I, my measurements were a little bit off. So we're gonna have to put another two by four right across here and right across here that are just like these, except a little bit longer, so they meet up in the middle. So I'm kind of excited to get that done, try that out, see how that works. But we are done with this part of the build for tonight. Um, I think I'm gonna finish off the front here. All right, on second thought, I was putting some uh, supports here, just something to kind of sturdy it up and uh, keep breaking screws off because this ash is so dang tough. 
My uh, number nine screws just keep snapping, so I've snapped five. I've snapped off five screws. So I guess I need to pre-drill this. Anyway, we're gonna do that tomorrow. I've uh, been working on this late into the night and I need to get some rest, so I stopped breaking screws doing dumb stuff like that. I guess this will all be here for me in the morning. I don't need to worry about anything else, pick anything else up or clean up. Just time to get ready to go to bed and get up tomorrow and do it all over again. Well, not do it all over again, finish building it. So that's what we're gonna work on tomorrow. Again, this has been, let's see, this is the third day, but to be fair, we did get a lot of other stuff done today. So before I head back in for the night, y'all take care, stay safe, hug somebody. God bless you. everything's gonna be okay. Peace.